Welcome back in our last tutorial on the pen tool. If you've noticed throughout this lesson, we didn't refer over to this menu here where we can add anchor points, delete, or convert um, point tool. The reason we didn't do it is because we were already doing it when we were drawing our pass. So when we were drawing our pass, and for example, when we closed it, I used the control key to change it to direct selection, selected the path, and then when I hovered over a point, you see it's a minus, then that will delete um, the anchor point and connect the two other points so that is deleting and the add I can place an anchor point press the control key and then move it around and then to change the direction we um, the other thing that we did is we um, click drag press alt no excuse me press alt change the direction of this handle and then I change the direction and make it a corner point instead of making it smooth so we were already doing that I just don't like referring over to the menu because I think the press and the control and alt key provide um, better, more convenient options. Now lastly, I'm going to turn this layer off. I'm going to turn on the um, ma magnetic pin and the freeform pin. And I'm also going to choose, uh, choose turn off rubber band. So let's talk about the freeform. The freeform, when you select it, allows you to draw a path in a freeform way. So if I click here, um, I got to click and I got to drag. That's the point. That's the difference with the pen tool. Um, you click, drag, click, drag. But here you got to click and then hold down and you can draw your path. As you can see here, I'm trying to draw as best as I can with the mouse. And it's free formally drawing this path. And as you see, when I connect it, this is my path. I, of course, I can smooth this out, add anchor points and adjust it. But this is what the free form uh, pen tool does. Now, with the freeform selected we have this option over here called magnetic and magnetic will allow you to place anchor points automatically and you do not have to um, hold the mouse down it will automatically apply these anchor points according to um, a set frequency I believe that's dictated by the um, um, magnetic lasso tool and as you can see here, you can add anchor points by clicking, and I will add an anchor point for you. But you can see how fast you can move around this. Why you can move around this so fast? Because there's a great contrast between this yellow and the blue. If they were very similar, this would be a lot harder to draw. So anytime you want to use the magnetic pen tool to draw a path, make sure there's great contrast between what you're trying to trace and the background. And you can see here, <laughs> I can do this a lot better than with the free form. And you can see how this can help me out a lot compared to using the pen tool. Now with the pen tool, with experience and tr um, trying it over and over and over, you will become a, um, a perfectionist at drawing paths. And there we have it. And uh, let's look at our before and after. A lot better compared to our free form. So as you can see with the, with the magnetic pen tool, we can have a better path as compared to using the free form. But again, with a lot of practice, you can use the pen tool and trace this in the matter of seconds, probably maybe even faster than a magnetic pen.